hey hey everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be bringing you a video on how i converted my epson 2760 into a sublimation printer if you guys want to see how i did that just keep on watching so throughout the video you guys will see my boyfriend's hands in the video is because he was helping me and i was basically recording um we do have two printers um, but I decided to do the video on this one, which is the Epson 2760, because there's not a lot of videos out there on how to convert the Epson 2760. So I was like, hey, let's do this one since it's brand new, um, right at the box. I'm sure people want to know how you convert it, so that's what we'll be doing right now. Sublimation is like the hottest thing out right now, so I really wanted to do this video to show everybody um how to convert sublimation um printer a lot of printers are out of stock right now as far as the workforce 7710 and the 7720 i think those are going to be discontinued so the epson eco tanks are probably be the next best things to get um in stock right now so yeah we're just taking it out of the box right now and this is how it looks Okay guys, so we are taking the ink out of the box and I just wanted to make it very clear that we are not going to use the ink that came with the printer. You do not want to use the ink that came with the printer because it is not sublimation ink. We will only be using the bottles for this process. So throughout the video you will see us make a lot of changes. Um, as far as emptying the bottles, but you'll see that later on in the video, but we will only be using the bottles. We have the sublimation ink, and if you guys are interested in the sublimation ink, we do have sublimation ink for sale. I will leave the link in the description box. It usually ships the same day or the next following day. Um, you will receive a tracking. It does, it does come with the ink cartridges, the ink, of course, and the syringes to fill. So, yep, if you guys want to check that out, I will leave the link in the description box. So, the first step is, of course, emptying the ink, the Epsom ink, into the condiment bottles that we purchased from Dollar Tree. We needed a place, of course, to put the old ink, so that's what we're doing, we're doing right now. We're filling up the old ink and tied the condiment bottles. You will want to make sure that you purchase four different bottles for the four different colors. You want to put each color into its own bottle. Although you're not using it, you just want to just separate the colors, of course. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We're going to do the pink, the black, the blue, and then the yellow, of course. So that's the process that we are going through right now. It's basically emptying the old Epson ink into the condiment bottles. Simple. once the bottles are empty you will want to make sure you rinse the bottles out completely and let them set out to dry for at least 30 minutes so the water in the old ink doesn't mix you know just make sure it's completely dry <laughs> We will 
will be using TK ink sublimation ink to fill our eco tank bottles. You will also want to make sure that you lay down a piece of napkin or a piece of parchment paper just so you don't make a mess because sometimes this process can get a little messy so you want to protect the area that you are working in. I also recommend to leave the labels on the bottles so you can make sure that you're putting the black in the black bottle even though it really doesn't matter but just for your sake to leave the labels on the bottle. The biggest bottle for the eco tank is the black one and the rest are standard sizes. So right now the process that we are going through right now is basically filling the sublimation ink into the eco tank bottles. It's just as simple as that. It's nothing really hard to do it. I know a lot of people say they usually put the ink that came with the printer in it first to make sure it works but I just feel like that's just like an extra step you don't need to do. I didn't do that step with either one of my printers the 7710 or the 2760. So this is what works for me but you know everyone does things differently but this is what works for me. And I want to apologize that I didn't get the full screen um, recording mode on here. I am so sorry. I didn't realize that until after we did the video. I was like, oh no. But I still want to include this part, of course, because this is where we put the ink inside of the printer. All you do is just turn the ink upside down and insert it onto the color and it will start drinking it. As you can see, it's going to fill up and it will stop once it gets to the line. And we did this process for all of the colors, the magenta, the yellow, and of course the black. This process didn't take long at all. It was very simple to do. Nothing to it but to do it. I would recommend anyone to get the Epson 2760, especially as a beginner printer, since the workforce 7710 and 7720 will no longer be in stock. This will be a great printer to get. I recommend it. I got it from Sam's because Staples, Office Depot, Best Buy, all of them were sold out at the time. So you can check your Sam, your local Sam's and your local Costco. They usually have these type of printers in stock. <laughs> And once you finish filling up the printer with the sublimation ink, you want to go through the whole setup process. You want to make sure that you download the drivers and follow the on-screen prompts on the printer. It was very easy. Again, this is the process that we took to convert our Tank 2760. If you guys have any questions or comments or things that you want to know about the process, Please leave it down in the comment box. I will reply to everybody. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share with a friend. You never know who wants to be in the sublimation game. And I did want to share with you guys the 
effect that we got after we set up our profiles we did this custom clipboard of Chadwick Boseman rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman but aren't those colors popping if you guys want to check out a sublimation ink again I will leave the link in the description box thank you guys for watching